Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ledke, and I'm here today with Lori Thorpe. Hi, Hank. And that uh, other guy, Ed. Ed. Community Ed. Oh, Community Ed, yes. <laughs> How could I forget that, Ed? <laughs> How are we doing today? <laughs> We're doing well. We're doing well. We have got such a great summer of programming. Hoped we could tape outside today, but summer is way here already, and it's really, really windy. So we've got a lot going on, though. A lot of fun things. Indoor and outdoor. So, Great. Um, do you want to talk about some kids programming first? Yes, let's see what's okay. happening with the little ones here okay. for the summer. Little ones and maybe a little bit bigger mm -hmm. ones. You know, the worst words that I hear as a parent sometimes uh, is the B word. I am bored. Yes. And you don't want to hear your kids say that. Um, and so we have a lot of opportunities going on for just a wide age range of kids, all the way from. Um, elementary up through the high school because we've got just a real variety of programming, a lot of sports camps being done by um, various sport groups and um, also I'd like to mention that in addition to community education there is also a huge amount of programming for kids through a program called Targeted Services which is run through the school I haven't heard of that before. That is it's, um, <clears throat> something that actually TV3 had covered um, in a different segment, and it was called the Hornet Connection. Okay. That is the after-school um, program that's kind of a Monday through Thursday after-school program. And so that is part of Targeted Services. And this summer, um, the person to contact on those classes would be Linda Belke at the school. And she is just, has just been really a whiz with working with instructors. And these are classes taught by teachers. And they vary in student age range. It's elementary students, but maybe there's a class for first and second grade, or fourth, fifth, and sixth. Or, you know, there's just, I think there's 21 or 22 classes of different things. You know, your child can be in a number of them over the summer, so I want to give that a really really great comment because the, there's a lot going on there. Good. But um, So there's those things and there's also summer recreation, of course, that you're real familiar with, but if you want to look for some other things for youth, everybody grab their calendar and a pen and pencil because I've got some things that you might want to make note of. We've got a lot of sports camps, as I mentioned, uh, in June, there is volleyball camp, and that is for grades 5 through 8 and 9 through 12 girls, and that is June 8th through 11th. And then boys basketball camp runs June 8th through 10th. Girls basketball camp runs June 1st through 4th. We'll also have gymnastics camp with the dates to be determined. And then in August, we've got the famous Camp Shorty for the wrestlers. So those are some great sports activities coming up in the terms of camps. In terms of other sports activities, there is youth soccer, and that is Tuesdays and Thursday mornings in June. And let's see, I don't want to miss That'll anything here. That will be at the here. elementary fields? Then? That will be at the practice football fields, okay. yep. All these things have various locations, so call the community at office, 334-2525 for info. We've got some great 4-H programming, a couple little um, three-hour camp type of things. One is a stick horse rodeo, and one is fantastic photography. So that's through Becker County 4-H. We have got, um, this is for youth or adults, we've got group guitar lessons. And we're getting some good responses on that. So make sure if you ever wanted to do that, that you call now because that'll be going on um, beginning mid-June and going through mid-July. Okay. And let's see. And then we've got our famous Stamp Club, Stamp Collectors Club with Edna Ketter. And uh, those are just a few okay. of the things. Uh, we're going to take a break right now, and we'll be right back with another segment with Lori talking about the other programs that are coming up this summer. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ledke, and uh, we're here yet with Lori yep. Thorpe here in Community Ed. And uh, 
So now what's happening for the rest of us this summer? For the rest of us. Again, um, if you still have your pencil and paper and calendar handy, I hope you're ready for a busy summer. We have got... I mentioned group guitar lessons when we were talking about the youth, but you know, we're having responses from adults on mm -hmm. that, um, a lot of interest. And I, I just think this is a really good opportunity for people to do something fun that they've always dreamt of. And David Christensen is our instructor, and he's our choir director here. Those are Monday afternoons for either a 4 o'clock slot or a 4.30 p.m. slot beginning mid-June, June 15th, and going through July 20th. And also David will be offering piano and voice lessons this summer for a six-week segment. And so if that's, you know, if you've ever thought, I would just like a few voice lessons, you know, maybe you don't want to blast that church choir out quite as much as you do, or maybe, you, you know, you just want to try something different and maybe hone those talents a bit. Um, that's an opportunity for you. Um, swimming lessons are going on throughout the area, and, and um, I just want to mention that we have those for youth and adult in the community, not offered necessarily through community ed, but there's lots of opportunities. If you've never learned to swim, this could be the summer for you to do that. It's very important that you people out there know how to swim. That's a major thing in this area. <laughs> You have an accident, you roll over into the ditch, about half of them you're going to be in water in this country. So best to know how to swim. Safety first, right? You bet. You know, and, and it's something that as an adult that you can do with your child. Mm -hmm. You know, you can take those lessons and you can have a comfort level that you can feel good about, I think is really important. Um, on June 25th, we've got some various fun things coming up. and, and um, and they are things for adults, and one of them is for seniors in particular. Mary Jane Hay of the um, Council on Aging is coming, and she has done a senior surfing, that's computer surfing class for us in the past, and she'll be coming that afternoon again uh, from 2.30 to 4 p.m., so it's not a late night class, which a lot of people don't like the late nights sometimes. And she'll just be working with seniors who maybe would like to do some email or exchange photos with family members across the country or maybe get into some document production. And so she'll be working with them that afternoon, June 25th. And also on the 25th, some other activities that we'll have is a session regarding the library uh, link site. Yes. And then that evening, the community is welcome to meet author Laurel Means. And this is just a really exciting chance. She is the author of The Long Journey Home, which is a book that is taking place in Minnesota post-Civil War. And just it's a novel of just wonderful substance and should create a good discussion opportunity. Um, another thing that's exciting for adults, Pilates exercise. We'll have an early morning class, 7.30 to 8.15 AM. That's Mondays and Wednesdays here right here in this uh, high school commons. Okay. And um, one last thing is we've got some trips this summer, and we've got on August 2nd, Taste of Dorset trip, combined with Fiddler on the Roof Theater. Well, that should be interesting. We really appreciate this, Lori, and uh, we're glad that you could uh, be on TV3 again. Yep. And I want you all to remember your veterans this week. All gave some, some gave all. So respect your veterans, hug your neighbor, have a great week.